Hey dear, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate transformation animation inside of After Effects. So let's start. So few weeks back, I have posted this particular animation on the evolution of mobile phones and few of you guys requested me to show me the techniques that I have used in this particular animation. So I have already posted a lesson on how to animate the 3D rotation, the techniques that I have used in this particular animation to animate the 3D rotation in of mobile phones. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to animate transformation animation. I mean, the technique that I, I've used to animate these particular transformations in, but in this particular animation. So let's start. Okay, so right now we are inside of After Effects and in this lesson, we are going to transform this box into this TV. So I have used few rulers and put it in each of the corners and I have just moved the anchor point to exactly at the bottom. For any transformation animation, first of all, we need to add some anticipation to it and after the transformation happens, there should be some overshoot to it as well. So first of all, I will open up the rotation property and put a keyframe, open the position property and put a keyframe as well and I will just view both the properties. So I will just simply rotate it from each of the any of the corner. So to give it some kind of anticipation for this transformation animation. So I will jump on to next three frames and I will just give slight rotation and I will adjust the position property as well. And after this point, the actual transformation will happen. So I will open the path property and put a keyframe over here. I will jump on to next fifth frame. After that, I will simply turn on the eye button of this box and uh, all these layers and we can see that uh, this whole TV is over here, but we only need this particular box layer. So I will just turn off this and open the path property and I will just copy the path property from this particular shape. Just select the property and control C to copy it and select this path and simply paste it control V. Okay, so I will just simply give the rotation zero first and just adjust its path. So I will simply transform it. So to transform it, you can simply select the path and all the anchor points will be selected like this. After that, if you double click, you will get into the transformation mode and you can transform it. Now after this, uh, let's give it a bouncy movement. So after the transformation, give it a bounce, something like uh, it will just jump off the ground. For that, we can simply move the position slightly upwards. So first of all, I will just put a ruler over here. I will just move the position property. Let's delete it because we don't need it anymore. And uh, just give it two or three bounces. I think we can also give some rotation to it as well. So right now I will also add some rotation and also adjust the position again if needed. So I will simply easy ease and check the animation first. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So after that, I will select all of the other layers and simply parent it with the box. So I will simply turn on the eye properties. I mean the visibility and just put it down. So I will select all the layers and just move it over here because from this point, the actual transformation is happening. And after that, at this point, the transformation will totally com be complete. So I will first of all select the antenna layers and move its anchor points. So I will select the antenna and I will just parent it with the tip. So I will open the scale property and also the position as well. And I will simply scale it down when it is very uh, when it is some, I mean, scale it down and I will just move it below.
same with the base of the layer as well now after that i will just select the switch and select the whole path property so here i am just selecting and just simply i will i will just uh, transform the path like this and also same with the screen as well i will select I will just simply parent the screen with the outer screen border and I will put position and scale keyframe and I will just adjust it accordingly. I will also add some rotation to this one as well. So right now let's check it and after that we will add some movement to the antenna as well yeah this at this particular point it's happening very abruptly so for that we need to change the color so i will open the fill property and put a keyframe on the color and same over here i will simply pick this color at this point same with this one as well so let's check it now Let's do the same for the switches as well. Yeah, it's looking perfect now. So right now I will just simply add some rotation to the antenna as well. So I will open the rotation property and I will just simply rotate it in the direction the actual TV is rotating and I will simply just give it some overshoot and after that after a certain point it will just decay so right now I will also just offset the antennas yeah it's looking perfect now so like this you can tr add transformation animation and do it in after effects you can also add some more animations to it so like this i have just animated the transformation animations of the mobile evolution animated video okay so i hope you like the video so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.